Coming up on Marcus and Joni. Are you struggling with trauma in your relationships? Dr. Doug Weiss unpacks how to recover, restore, and live free. Well, here's another caller from um, Cleveland, Tennessee. Um, she says, we've been married for 26 years. Wow. Um, we lost our son two years mm. ago. And since the loss of the son, yeah. the husband has not been intimate. If things were fine before mm -hmm. then, what should I do? Yeah, he's going to need to go to some bereavement counseling. He is stuck. Have you heard of that? Oh, yeah, yeah, before? yeah. And it happens to women, too, because uh, the trauma. So that's trauma from the loss right. of a child. It's trauma from loss of a child, but he has reset. He's reset to mistrust anybody, anything, probably God himself. And he needs to he needs to heal that place to begin to trust God, trust himself. So what should trust she do? Life. Like what suggest that you go to counseling for bereavement. All right, let me, Get throw, let me throw this in real quick. So uh, this weekend at Gateway, where Joni and I and our family attend, Pastor Tim Ross was the speaker. Mm -hmm. And he told the story about his brother. They were only about fifteen months apart and growing up a lot of people because mm -hmm. the parents dressed them alike, thought they were twins. And his brother died at a young age, mm. I think at like age of 20 or something. And, and Tim Ross said this. He said that for a long time, he could not be happy or laugh or enjoy things because he felt like that would be disrespectful to the mm. memory of his brother. Oh, and it wow. became so bad that Tim Ross contemplated suicide. Yeah. So this is a real thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that trauma reset him as well. And that not, in, not uh, enjoying yourself or going back to routines that give you pleasure is one of the PTSD symptoms. And so, uh, yeah, trauma is real. It happens uh, grief, like we're talking about death. It happens legally. It happens medically, you know, surgeries, car accidents, all kinds of trauma. And most of us throughout life have trauma. But how do we deal with it? How do we get past it? How do we walk out of it and become victorious? Okay, I, here's a question. I know all you ladies... Now, if you're in my grandma club, I want you to say amen, Marcus, when I say <laughs> this. And that is this, that there are so many precious women. Yes. They want their marriage to be healed. They want their family to be uh, saved. But they can't get their husband mm. to go to heart-to-heart -heart counseling mm -hmm. center mm -hmm. or go mm -hmm. talk to the pastor or a marriage uh, counselor. How do they get their husband to agree to do that? Well, you can't make a man do anything, but if he's under the church structure, that's what your pastors get paid for. So you go to the pastor and say, listen, my husband has an issue. I don't need to talk exactly what it is, but I need you to come to my house Tuesday at 6 o'clock, and I need you to meet with him and find out what it is. And I'll even cook you dinner. <laughs> okay. And, and you see, men make men. You know, and this is where women have a struggle. You have to get a man involved in that process and let the man start digging at him. And right, saying, what's okay, some other things on. they can do? Uh, breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> they have to get a man to the house. Okay. Okay. And, and have the pastor come to the house. Have the pastor meet your husband on his turf and say, hey, what's going on here? And it may not have to be the pastor, but it needs to be a, a pastor. spiritual leader. Just a spiritual leader that her, that her husband will respect. 